It's Keevney and Charles here on the Rampage. We're at the Public Image Limited Gallery, and we are just that glare at these fabulous photographs. Some, Some of them amazing photographs here, but look, there's one with uh, Lauren Laverne and Richard Hawley, and Richard Gorgeous. texted me last night, he says, hi, Craig. Uh, thought that, <laughs> that, bought, that bought this and thought of you. Thought, I saw a poster last night of your funk club, but was uh, too out of it <laughs> to take it in the date. Let me know when you're in town, and I'll oh. pop down. Hawley, it was last night, you numpty. <laughs> it's a gorgeous photograph, though. Look, really Lauren's, is, Lauren's looking all coquettish, and Hawley's looking like Elvis, and just giving her a big sloppy kick. I love this one, you know, the Clash, Mick Jones, Topper Hedron and Paul Simmons in there. I mean, I'm obviously Joe's missing. I used to spend all my glass with Joe. We used to get in this field and get all these hay bales around a campfire. Oh, you, and you, you had the Happy Mondays and Keith Allen all jumping in the fire naked. So it was like really crazy days. But Joe, he was the catalyst for it all. And he was just such a lovely man. To he was like the king of Joe. Glastonbury, wasn't he? And, and, and it, all those, those nights, it was just like you just drank water and you know, oh, occasionally was, herbal teas he, and things he, like he that. He was so cool. He wasn't on it or anything like that. But it, all this madness seemed to happen around yeah. him, you know? Yeah. And, um, and he, yeah, I say he was the catalyst for it. He was such, such a, a beautiful spirit and really, oh, a, really missed What a lovely experience for you to have had, actually. Yeah. Um, we're, we're, we're passing down. I think you can see some of these photographs on the website, can't you? bbc.co.uk slash six music. Uh, here's one in particular. If, you, if you're watching the, the live stream, you'll be able to see this of Cocker and Lamac uh, sort of pointing playfully at each other. That's a pretty beautiful uh, image. Has Cocker gone on an extended vacation or something like that? Yeah, not only has he gone on an extended uh, vacation, Iggy Pop's standing in for him for the rest of the year on BBC Radio 6 Music. So Iggy Pop is like one of our compatriots. Maybe at one of the next like, presenter get-togethers. Get Iggy Pop, though, you'd be thinking, oh, that's my job done, isn't, isn't it? it? <laughs> oh, that's, there's no coming back from that, is there? <laughs> Apparently, yeah, I don't know who's going to be replacing me, but possibly Huey Morgan. There's a photograph of Huey here, which he signed simply saying, Jaya. Yeah. Uh, a, a word that he invented, of course. <laughs> uh, that's in February 2013. His natural habitat, he the radio studio. He looks very surprised in that photograph, though, doesn't he? He's doing. He's giving it the full go, and he's giving it the full De Niro. <laughs> You're talking to me. You're talking to me. And this is a lovely one. I've just seen Giles Peterson. I'm only in the yeah, anti room, um, well, posing there with Lauren Vula. After this hour with you, I'm doing a fight club with Giles on BBC Six Music today, where we're going to like have a right really? kick off. Yeah. So, uh, is he, that, is he that going to be? He choose a tune. I choose a tune. The audience decide what was what's the best tune. Oh, I so see. and then you get um, topless and then you start actually fist fighting. Uh, 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 in a in a vat full of beans. <laughs> My problem is he's going to give me a right good kick, and he's Giles Peterson. I don't stand a chance. <laughs> He is, he's the world funk king, that's what he is. There's a delightful one of them, Vula there. Who's this? Joshua Homme, the, the colossal ginger Elvis. That is a lovely facial From portrait Queen of, of the him, Stone Age, look at that. Who wouldn't, ladies and gentlemen? That's, uh, that's the question I ask at this point. And here we are, um, captured uh, literally on celluloid, but also in a massive cage, uh, Radcliffe and McConey. That's basically where they belong, because of course that's they are extremely dangerous. always be. Keep them caged at all times and do not feed them. Um, oh, Laura Marling. Laura Marling in a wedding dress and plimsolls. She I quite looks like ghostly, that. though, doesn't she? Utterly beautiful and haunting. I know. I know. Ephemeral, I think the That's word the, is. That is a very good word, ephemeral. You should be a poet, you. Uh, slightly less ephemeral, uh, coquettish uh, and beautiful, I've got to say, uh, the stranglers, but still cutting an incredibly imposing girl. Still dressed in black. Looks like age might have caught up to them a little bit. <laughs> I think I've pro got problems with a grey beard. I know, yeah. <laughs> they definitely need to get to the chemist. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Uh, and here's what we're chat. talking about here. Craig Charles, absolutely gorgeous, I, aren't you? I'd just come back from Australia there, and I didn't even know the photograph was getting taken, as you can probably see. Uh, that's, why oh. I'm not, that's why I'm not looking at the camera and if it's all gurning or anything. You know? They've caught you in an unguarded moment, an unguarded and you look really moment. thoughtful. A, a, a moment of quiet reflection. That's right, a bit of contemplation. That's what we're after. Oh. One of you, pictures the one as well. I don't know, let's get around to it. There's a lovely one of, one of uh, the wonderful Mark Riley, yeah, though. Mark Riley. He's aged well, hasn't he? Don't you think? And oh my good God, I'm so sorry about this, people. What's this? If you are, this. Explain this. If you are looking uh, on the, the, the live it's stream, like a look away now. Cover, yeah. <laughs> it is. It, this is a photograph of the last time I had a meltdown live on air, actually, uh, at, <laughs> in, in the radio theatre. Um, last year, when we did um, a special uh, comic relief show, mm. Jennifer Saunders and Lauren Laverne in white coats, yeah. uh, waxing me for charity. And I've got those sort of kebab shop stars over my nipples. And you did get waxed. I got, I got utterly waxed. How mate, yeah. painful is that then? It's, it's not as painful as it, as it looks, as a matter of fact. And I was, I was, I was squealing for, uh, for radio entertainment purposes. <laughs> You've been squealing ever since, have you? Uh, to be honest, I have, yeah. <laughs> but I've written that this was harrowing. It really genuinely was a harrowing experience.